Do you want to know how to always win sports betting? If you do, this is the only video you'll ever need to watch. There are no others like it, so give it a chance to get going because I guarantee you will not regret it. This video doesn't contain any BS and I'm not going to hold anything back. So please return the favour, tap that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe to this channel once you see the value unfolding. Cheers. Oh, and also, this is not about match betting or arbitrage. This is purely about winning sports betting. Quick disclaimer before we get started though, this is not to glamorize betting, this is just to show you and everybody else a way in which anybody can beat the bookmakers over and over again repeatedly. Okay, now they don't like this, so after a short while they will limit or restrict your betting account, just to be aware of that. Uh, it's not illegal and they will pay out, but I think it's important to mention that they will restrict your account in some way after a while. Unfortunately, that's just a fact. But by the end of these five steps, you'll understand why. So before I show you how to game the system and consistently win, I want you to understand why this works and why it's so different to what the media channels and pundits tell you to focus your attention on. You see, the TV channels, form guides, newspapers are all part of the betting industry's illusion. They divert your attention away from what really matters in order to make money from you, the viewer. I mean, what's more important, the player's form or the price of their bet? These two statements give a very clear answer. First of all, TV channels, pundits, affiliates, etc. direct your attention towards form, whereas the bookmakers make their money from and pay those TV channels and affiliates from the prices that they offer. But it doesn't just stop there, it applies to the events that you choose to bet on too. So the TV channels, uh, bookies, affiliates and social media and so forth will often send you to events where there's poor value and you're far less likely to win because of that poor value rather than sending you to places where the sports book may have got their pricing incorrect. So I'll show you exactly where and lay it out in these five steps in just a second but to highlight what I'm trying to say here uh, Paddy Power offers USA horse racing of an evening on their sports book where the prices are often wrong as are the prices on greyhounds with multiple providers um, but what you really need to get around into your head here is that winning on sports betting is not about picking the winner. It's about getting the right price and then letting variance do the hard work for you. As explained on a previous video, betting strategy we'll put on the screen here that was previously published on the channel last year. Now if that's lost you, look at this brief Excel explanation on the screen here. Uh, if there's a 50% chance of something happening, its odds are as follows. Uh, any bets that you strike above that price is your overall margin. So sure, the next bet might not come in, it might not be the winner um, in your favour, but overall, a wider sample of bets means that you come out on top and you always win through taking value in the marketplace. It's extremely simple in theory, but the harder part is finding those odds which are above their true value because bookmakers and sports books are doing the complete opposite and offering you odds far below their true value in the alternate direction, effectively giving you shorter odds than the probable chance of something happening, which is where these five steps come into things. So here we go, let's get on with it, run through them on the screen with some examples, starting with step one, which is looking in the right place. Now obviously I can't give you an arbitrary date and time this is gonna happen, so we can go one better than that and I'll tell you the places where and why it happens. So, um, you know, USA Horse Racing, Paddy Power, already mentioned that, um, lots of different providers on Greyhounds, and that's because it's a fast moving marketplace. There's often lots of changes, and it's less interest for them and their traders in their trading room. So you can pick up on the changes before they do and skin them for it. So if we're talking about horse racing, you want to look at the lower quality horse races, particularly on all weather, maybe later in the evening, places like Dundalk. Um, if we're talking about football, you want to look at the far lower leagues, um, the less interesting events, although I'll be honest with you, it can be a little bit tricky on the football because there's less opportunities for this. Greyhounds is a brilliant one because there's races every few minutes, particularly in the evening and in the summer, and a lot of the time they're not focused and dialed in on that. But the point here is they are not focused on the event as much as the general public is not focused on the event, and it is a fast changing marketplace. Now that seems really simple, you'll see in a moment with an example, but that is an extremely powerful thing to know and focus on. So the second step is a direct comparison, and we'll show you one on screen here. So you have betting exchanges and sports books exchanges, 
very close to the starting time. At starting time in particular is even better. Uh, there is the wisdom of crowds, there's thousands of people placing bets against each other, and therefore that's the closest you're gonna to get to the true value or true price of something. So if you can find a direct comparison where the sportsbook odds are bigger than the exchange odds, then that is to your favor. The bigger the disparity, the better, and therefore the bigger the disparity between the two, the larger you should stake. So look at this example on the screen here with the Greyhounds, the prices have changed very quickly, and we managing to back the Greyhound at a price it previously was, far bigger price despite the price crashing late on. Now there is a little bit more to this as we're going to discuss in step three which is beating the line. So we've found this situation where there's fast moving odds on a you know, relatively obscure event that the bookies are not keeping their eye on and we're going to get a value bet on. However we are also looking for significant volume on the selection very close to or at the start of the event or the starting time for the event. So you can see this one on the screen here uh, on BetDAC. We backed it on Sportsbook, odds of 3.75. The starting price was actually 3.0. A uh, very similar one that was over on Bet365. We got to back it at seven and it went off nearer to 5.5. So you can see that there's a significant gamble or there's a little bit flurry of money coming down on this selection. It has shortened in odds significantly and we've got a far bigger price than what it was actually valued at the start. Which takes us nicely into step four, which is the confirmation. So when you see these confirming signals, that's when you wanna hit them harder. So like I say, the bigger the disparity in the odds, the bigger the gamble, the closer it is to the start, preferably on the start, or even if it's slightly delayed after the start, they are three ticks in our box, and that's when we place a bet. Over the longer period of time, you will emerge a consistent winner when you do that. Now, the biggest problem for anybody that should try this is bankroll, because there is gonna be a sequence of losing events at some point in time. It's like flicking the coin. You're gonna have heads, tails, heads, heads, heads for so many rows. However, if you take value on those bets over a period of time that are being bet at their best point in time where they're closest to their true odds or true value, then you will emerge a winner. You'll be stunned at how many times these types of situations happen on multiple different sports. It could be cricket, tennis, uh, it could also be horse racing, like I said, the all weather events, but Greyhounds is the example here because it's a very easy and clear one on the screen, uh, but you'll be amazed at how often this actually happens. And last of all, this takes us on to step five. So understanding the process, understanding the why is extremely important and then repeating this over a longer sample, okay? So you've got to allow variance to play out with that probability, allow those losers to happen, allow the winners to happen, and see the difference. Track it ideally on a spreadsheet, Excel, something like that, um, and realize that that is part of the process. So although you remain always a winner over the longer term, there will be some losses en route. But what you're doing there is quite sensible, calculated, and you're understanding that short-termism isn't the way in which that you win through sports betting. Now also, one last thing just to add in there as well, is you're gonna need some different accounts with different bookmakers, different sports books. I'm not uh, condoning multi-accounting, but you're gonna need to do that because in the modern world, a large problem for any anybody who's a uh, professional better or trader is avoiding the losing of accounts and the various commissions that you rack up on route because these providers don't want to keep shelling out. They don't want to keep paying you. They're there to make money from you, not to give it to you. Okay, so I've given away something absolutely massive there and I appreciate not everybody will have got it the first time around. So you may need to go back, re-watch the video to digest it fully. But please remember, I've given this away for free on YouTube. So repay the favor by tapping the like button down below, subscribing to the channel and checking out one of these videos in the end screen here. So we've got two videos which are directly related to this video. First one is about betting strategy previously mentioned. The second one is about match betting, a different method which anybody can use to follow steps in order to turn bookmakers promotional offers into withdrawable cash. Thanks for watching, check them out.